I'm Sean Murphy. Welcome to San Diego, and this is DC University. Punk Rock Jesus. It's about uh, what would happen if they made a clone of Jesus Christ. This is slightly in the sort of a Blade Runner type future. And what happens is they turn it into a reality show. And uh, after so many years of um, tampering with reality, as they tend to do in reality shows, the clone turns age 14, decided he's have enough. He decides to escape the island prison he's kept on. He hits the street. He starts a punk band to start a media war against the people that sort of imprison him. And for me, it was an interesting way to sort of mix you know, politics, religion, and science in a fun, kind of not too over the top way. I would not go toe to toe with a hardcore punk rocker right. by any means, right. but for me, it just felt like if you're gonna use Jesus and he's going to really go against the grain, it can't be bluegrass Jesus, it has right. to be one thing. From Twitter, uh, we have a, uh, at Kurt Bali, I wanted to know, uh, how long is the process from idea to finished product, uh, specifically for Punk Rock Jesus? Yeah, see, 2,000 years, yeah, uh, it took, yeah. or you could say 10, ten uh, years? maybe seven, I've been put a plugging away the script, or you could say three is when I've really been focusing on it, or you could say a year and a half when I got the green light. At D. Matty, uh, writing into our con away from con uh, Twitter feed, I uh, wanted to know how spontaneous uh, are the religious symbols in punk rock Jesus? There's a lot of like hit subtle symbolism. Some of it's really orchestrated. Some of it I'm drawing and I'm like, oh yeah, cross on the wall. And that's as much thought as there is. Check out punk rock Jesus ASAP, everybody. It's the coolest.